Hello. In the Abiotube videos, we have been talking a lot about substances you don't want to have in your food, like toxins, pathogens and so on. So now it's time to talk about some ingredients you definitely want to have in your food. Vitamins. We all know that vitamins are essential nutrients your body needs to get from food. But what do vitamins do in the body? And why is it so important to get enough of these vitamins? Which products do contain specific vitamins? What may be the risk if you don't get enough of these vitamins? Questions we would like to answer in a series of short videos where we briefly introduce one of these vitamins and share some information about these small but important molecules with you. In this video, we will start with vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine. Well, actually vitamin B6 is a group of six compounds or vitamins with the same function and pyridoxine is just one of them. All of them has this typical pyridine ring as basis of the molecular structure. Vitamin B6 is a water-soluble vitamin and was discovered in 1934 by the Hungarian physician Paul Georgi. He named the substance vitamin B6 because it was discovered after the previous vitamin B5. Although it's a relatively small molecule, vitamin B6 is a so-called cofactor in at least 140 cellular reactions, mostly related to the biosynthesis of amino acids, fatty acids and other physiological functions. So it is clear that vitamin B6 plays a very important role in the body. Luckily, vitamin B6 can be found in many food products of animal and plant origin. For example, beef liver, but also in meat in general, poultry, fish like tuna, salmon, as well as chickpeas, walnuts, avocado and bananas. They contain significant amounts of vitamin B6. A healthy and varied diet will provide most people with enough vitamin B6, so deficiencies are rare. Nevertheless, kidney diseases, overuse of alcohol, autoimmune intestinal disorders causing malabsorption, like celiac disease, may increase the risk for deficiencies. Also pregnant women and the elderly may have a higher risk for deficiencies. To check food products for the amount of vitamin B6, Several methods are available, and if you'd like to know more about the analysis of this vitamin and others, please have a look at the vitamin section on our website. I hope you enjoyed this video about vitamin B6. We summarized some of this information in an infographic you can download in our media section. Please stay tuned for the next vitamin video in this Arbiotube channel.